1051051. You know I got them low lives coming up here in about 10 minutes. It's going down, baby. Shout out to all my boosters, all my steam team, anybody getting that low or that high end fashion. You know how we do. The low lives will be stepping in the building in a high second. It's the Gwinnett Guard, y'all. Woo! 800 is the Gwinnett Guard DJ self. I'm here with Rack Low. Rack Low was popping. Yo, yo, what up, what up, so. Uh, first off, uh, before we get to to the guests that you have with you, you um, I want to say uh, I got a chance for the first year to go to Low Goose on the Deuce. Mm -hmm. um, very, very chilly. And when I say chilly, it was <laughs> like I was in a ice box. Yeah, it was brisk. You understand? Yeah. But the turnout that you had, the amount of people that was there, with peace and harmony, right, was amazing to me. Um, now before I even go anywhere, can you explain to me what Low Goose on the Deuce is? All right, so um, Low Goose on the Deuce is a um, it's an event that we started in 2010. We, as you saying, we, I just because now, um, tri-state area, anybody's listening, I, I want to get a little bit deep. I know sometimes. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we as humans we feel like everybody is is a privilege to everything that's going on, but <laughs> I just want you to like go in a little depth and then we're gonna talk we're gonna go back. But I want to start with low goose on the deuce. We meaning the low lifes, you know. What low I'm saying? lifes, okay. Original low lifes from 1988. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, I definitely spearheaded it because you know originally low lifes was on the deuce back in 1988, okay, 87. Um, with the same theme, rocking low gooses and just gathering and just living the lifestyle of hip-hop, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, so in 2010, we just reignited the whole movement, mm -hmm. whereas we sort of like bridged the gap from like the 80s to the 90s to the new millennium. Mm -hmm. And just like all of those all of those low heads came together through the theme of um, love and loyalty, the two okay. L's, you know what I'm saying? Two L's, okay. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go back to Logos, but I wanna go back now. So there are some people that currently see me, you know, I, I've been into polo since mm -hmm. I was a little younger. Um, Primarily, I'm from downtown Brooklyn. Um, primarily, the older guys that I used to, I want to say, look up to, mm -hmm. that used to always be fly wearing polo, taking the pictures downtown. And, you know, what I, I want to want to use the word mirrors, but I guess the sheet or whatever, taking pictures and stuff, wearing on these Street. fly on Fulton Street, yeah, yeah. wearing these fly clothes. Mm -hmm. And I used to be like, damn, yo, how y'all get? You know, I was the guy in the, the crib DJing and stuff. And I'm like, yo, these when they they wear these fly clothes and stuff, mm -hmm. right? So. Um, how did this thing called Low Lives start? And I want you to talk a little bit more in depth because the audience here, a lot of times I feel like have no clue. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people say, oh, I used to wear polo, we wear Dior, and, right, and right. I'm like, man, Dior, man, polo is better. Mm -hmm. So can you get into a little bit of depth? Then we'll introduce everybody else. Yeah, well, um, when it, as far as the polo, that's sort of like the uniform that mm -hmm. we, all, we, we all wear, but um, as far as how Low Lives came together, it was pretty much based around survival. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. everybody know, we was like, we, we like some of the greatest boosters on the planet, you know and, what I mean? And now, I, I, and I, I'm, I wanna keep saying it again, and people watching this, they may say yourself, keep stopping them, but sometimes you're using terminology that may be foreign to people. Okay. Boosting, right. what is boosting? Boosting is, you know what I mean? Pretty much going in stores and taking what you want, shoplifting. Shoplifting, you know okay, yeah. right. So that's how we pretty much um, accumulated mass amounts of polo. Mm -hmm. means of shoplifting, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of a, a lot of other people went out and bought it, they had jobs, but the low lights didn't have it. Much, we nah. taking it. We going in the store yeah. and taking what we want. Yeah, you know, Bloomingdale's, Macy's, Bloomies. Saks Fifth, Lloyd's. Uh -huh. All those expensive high-end department stores, they felt the rain of low lights. How did the security feel when they saw y'all walking in? Did they stop y'all? Or did, was it like, was it like, ah, yo, I know what you're doing. Was there any cool security guards like, y'all know what y'all about to do. Just don't do it on my watch. Yeah, yeah. Let me take a coffee break. Yeah, yeah, you definitely have security guards and D's like that. But um, it was always, always um, a real thing. You know what I mean? As far as running up in the stores and um, just managing to get our way out every okay. time. You know what I mean? Like one particular security guard, his name was Superman. And he was do you like, want to say his name? Because you, okay. Nah, nah. Superman is his nickname. You okay, know what I'm saying? Good, okay, he labeled right. him Superman because he was cock diesel, mad tall, mm -hmm. and he was pretty much like really trying to um, stop everybody from. Okay. Oh, he was away. doing his job. He was doing his job. Okay. You know what I mean? uh -huh. So, um, pretty much that's how it went down. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? We used to like pretty much go in spots and just strong arm. Mm -hmm. you know I, I mean? want to get more into this because I want people to understand this culture and this lifestyle. But I also wanted because I see you got people with you also. Yeah. So the, your the, your company that you have. 
Yeah. Can you introduce them? What do they do? You know, what's why are they here? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I mean? These are um, original low life founders. You okay. know what I mean? They uh -huh. all they all um are from the beginning. Okay, can you introduce your names? Yeah, representing, you know what I mean? This is my man A V Rock. Yeah, uh -huh. A V Rock. You know what I mean? Representing St. John's. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my uh, man Reese Black. Reese Black the general, you mm -hmm. know what I'm mean? saying? And we got Uncle Disco. Uncle you know what Disco. I mean? Okay. MGB. So now y'all guys could also tell me how did this thing called Low Lives start? For sure. Can y'all explain? He has his version. Everybody has different versions. The reason why I mm -hmm. say that to me is sometimes, you know, in, in history, if we don't document history and we don't get different views, because your view of something, my mm -hmm. view of something could be totally different. I had a great time when I went to Low Goose on the Deuce this year. Somebody else could say, yo, it was cold as shit, man. Mm -hmm. I ain't have no fun. You know, I had a great time. You understand? Uh -huh. So, you know, how did how did this thing called Low Live start? Well, um, I, I just wanted to say me me and Rack knew each other for 100 years. We used to be on Little League baseball teams. Okay. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we actually used to steal T-shirts. I love New York T-shirts okay. and stuff uh -huh. like that and, mm -hmm. and resell those. Like, that was our first venture in the stealing, and you mm -hmm. know, it just evolved from that. And, uh, but what made you say, because you, you could boost anything, what made you say, let me boost polo? Expensive, colorful, okay. flashy, yeah. you know? But you know, at the same time, like it wasn't always just polo. You know, like in the 80s, we rocked everything. We rocked the Benetton, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? The Gucci, the Louis. Um, what else, what else? Introduced um, the hood, the, the Gore-Tex. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like. So it was various band, various brands, you brands, know, Serge uh -huh. Cheney, Lacoste Sportif, you know what I mean, Prince, um, Jerry G. Gucci mm -hmm. sneakers. You know what I mean? It was know. like various brands. But as far as the polo, it was just something that, you know what I mean, that stuck to us, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, like I said earlier, department stores, they really carried and advertised the polo. And polo in itself is sort of like set us aside from different people, set us apart, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. when we would go to all the hip hop clubs, Union Square, Latin Quarters, um, the Muse, home base. We stood out just based on uniform alone. We and then polo. Uh -huh. people automatically knew, yo, the polo kids, that's always polo from head to toe, the boosters, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, um, we always was a part of hip hop from, from, from day one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like even back in the eighties, we always was visible in all the clubs. Mm -hmm. Even out in sensations out in Jersey. In Jersey, shout out to you Jersey. You see the low uh -huh. lights out there, you know what I mean, getting uh -huh. it on, you know what I mean? So or, so now, um, Anytime I think of low lives, um, you know, I don't really think of gang. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't too much violence when it came to low lives. Did people think low lives were suckers? Nah, definitely not. Okay. I'm not gonna say it wasn't too much violence, but I mean, no, but I mean, you know, when I say it, that, meaning that's that not, it, it's, it's not association. It always associated with with stealing say, clothes or, or shoplifting, I, but it's not. Yo, this person robbed this person, shot him, or whatever, blah blah blah. If somebody got robbed, they probably got robbed for their low, but not mm -hmm. like you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they, yeah. they took their pockets was, or died or something. It was That's more what I mean. Offense, okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. You play offense, you know. Okay. Yeah, offense. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh -huh. Then defense. Yeah. So yeah, yeah but it, I mean, it, it was a lot of drama, you know, like um, it was a lot of wolves out there, you know what I mean? That was like against low lives, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that, they pretty much wanted what we had. Okay. Like a lot of people couldn't Grown afford men. the lifestyle. <laughs> uh -huh. They couldn't afford the lifestyle that we portrayed. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like getting your hands on an abundance of polo and being fly every day, that was like hard to do. Mm -hmm. A lot of people couldn't, you know what I mean, even risk their lives or their freedom. Mm -hmm. They wasn't that, you know, willing to do that. So like what we was wearing, what we was wearing at that time, it was hard to wear. You had to when you come out, you had to pay attention. You had to pay attention to your square because they on you. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we from the Ville. Brownsville. So Garvey, uh -huh. you know I mean? Garvey, yeah. Garvey, so uh -huh. all the projects, all the projects, you know what I mean? We got fuck with all the projects, it's part of my language. No, nah, that's fine, we, projects, we good. You know what I mean? But the majority of the projects, they was against us, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you always had to be on point, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's just like when you come to the Heights, you know what I mean? We good on the Johns, but we moving around the Heights the same way. Cause dudes ain't like us. We was the fly dudes. We was them dudes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it was a lot of dudes that was getting fly with different crews. You know what I mean? But we was the dudes going everywhere. Mm -hmm. It was no place we wasn't going. Wins, losses. You know what I'm saying? Like when they brought up sensations. Mm -hmm. We went to sensations. We took. That's L's in Newark, out New there. Jersey. Yeah, we uh -huh. took L's, L's yeah. out there. What you mean by you took L's? Took a loss. <laughs> So well, do you think they targeted y'all? Nah, we nah, was outnumbered, we out you know there. what I mean? We okay. out there mm -hmm. on some rah-rah shit. Like the homie, uh, I think Kermit put us on to mm -hmm. sensations. But we go out there deep. 
But we young, we, we don't care about nobody. We mm-hmm. not respecting nobody. We go to McDonald's, niggas took over to McDonald's. <laughs> we doing stupid young shit, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Okay. So we in the club, touching people's jewelry, just doing all kinds of craziness, you know what I mean? We got broads out there, but we was just out of control. Mm-hmm. And then we came back the next week. Uh-huh. They had us lined up. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we gonna get them guys when they come it back. Went, it went crazy. Yeah, they they got us back. Uh-huh. Nobody. It was no shooting. Then it was it was they they they, they put hands on dudes. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we was deep, but they was they tripled us out there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And we met all them dudes later on in the future. You know what I mean? It was all good. But this how our dudes was moving back then. We ain't care. We was some fly dudes. And we we and we we dealt with, with in our hood what were the tough dudes in our hood we got to deal with that other hoods so we go other places we really not caring about nobody mm-hmm. you know what I mean the city was our uh, living room you know what I mean mm-hmm. Manhattan was the living room okay that's what's up so so now um moving forward like I said I'm gonna bounce back and forth so moving forward um I think there was a, there was a time where. We're in Polo, and Polo got a little bit cold. Would you agree? Like, when I say that, it was just a, a, a strong period of time where it was like, ah, eh, you know, Polo's cool, but, you know, that was that's the old thing. Mm-hmm. Then I feel like within seven, eight year resurgence, it felt like it just popped mm-hmm. again. Do, would you agree? Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say, like, around... I think it caught it caught light again back like in 1999. Okay, yeah. Because okay. like in 99, 2000, me and Thurston was on tour. We was hitting Thurston, Europe. okay. You, uh-huh. We was hitting Europe and all that. And, tour um, doing. You know what I mean? Like performing live. Performing. You know I mean? Performing our music. Hip hop. Hip hop. Definitely. Okay, yeah. You know I mean? just I like to be specific with people. Yeah, okay, yeah. I right, got you. Hip hop uh-huh. artists. So um, just you know, going to different places like um, you know, London, mm-hmm. um, Norway, Sweden, um, Amsterdam, and just constantly um cultivating the culture. Mm-hmm. Through, you know what I mean? All the di- uh, all the different people from Europe, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All the European fans. And um then we just brought it back to the States and it just built back up. Went, especially uh-huh. through social media. Mm-hmm. Through, you know what I mean? MySpace and then you know Instagram came through, then Twitter and Facebook, you know what I mean? So it became like an international um a international movement online. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Online. Yeah, and that's how it really just started to build more. Mm. And, how do you how do you feel about I guess like new generation people wearing polo or maybe claiming low lives. Well, I mean, um, it's all love. <laughs> like we're like we're open we got we open arms for all new low heads because we we all about, you know what I mean? It's um it's power and numbers. And it's all okay. about building a legacy and um keeping this thing going for countless years, more and more decades, you know what I'm saying? So like we never. He seemed like he disagreed with you. Like, no, 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 I don't okay. disagree with him. I, 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 I was you just shake your head. Say, he was like, hold, no, hold on, I was yeah. just gonna say, like, okay, in, right? in, <laughs> in the beginning of it, okay. we were still tight knit, <laughs> like you know, and dudes yeah, were yeah. doing it. We were feeling in a way, but like this thing grew out of out of our yeah. control, man. Okay. Like, this thing is humongous, and you can't go around. Yeah, yeah, you can't go around saying who you and what you do. It's uh-huh. too big. I'm talking about countries like. Big up, we got chapters in France and Canada mm-hmm. and Mexico and mm-hmm. New Zealand, like, oh, like all over. Like mm-hmm. people, we built chapters, so this thing is too big to be saying. Mm-hmm. See, know. because I, I I remember me, like um, all the guys that I, I looked up to, I, like I said earlier, they were wearing polo, and mm-hmm. you know, um, I always was heavy into DJing when I was young, but um, at times when I had chances, I would have two or three pieces. Mm-hmm. And I may hang out with them, took the pictures and different stuff like that. So I right, post right. some of them and, yo, you ain't original low life. No, no, no. You know, they used to say that to me. And I it's say, me. I bothered you a couple of times. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and, 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 and me, I say, well, you know, I've been wearing polo for as long as, you know, as long as I've been old enough mm-hmm. to wear polo. You know, I may not be as old as some guys. You understand? But I know. You know, I at least try to know my history. One, right. two. You know, I I like to wear polo because I know what I saw as a young kid. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, my mindset was, hey, you mm-hmm. know, I I want to wear polo. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I ask because sometimes a younger person may not, you know, may want to get the blessing from the older people. Mm-hmm. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So that's why I'm actually. Did you have something to say? That's the same thing, like in the hood, like from the Garvey. You know what I mean? You got mm-hmm. a lot of dudes that came up under us. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They old dress code is polo. They never went out boosting with us. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They never did it, but they grew up around us. They seen how we come back to the hood. They, they growing up, looking mm-hmm. out the window, they see dudes on the stoop, grouping up, great making moves. They grown men now. These dudes is polo down. A lot mm-hmm. of dudes from the hood. Never went well, all, my 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 mother rep, my mother would beat my ass with a with a wooden like a a, a, a cooking stick because my friends went out boosting mm-hmm. and I think I went one time we went to uh, Franklin Mills. Mm-hmm. All right, you remember Franklin? Look at everybody <laughs> laughing, <laughs> right? And and we what we did was what they call steam. You know what I'm I went with a couple of my friends. We the, the crew was called DTM Downtown mm-hmm. Mob. Right, okay. so we went, you know, and I'm just showing you where I was at. You understand? Mm-hmm. We went steaming, and it was about 40 of us. Two of us got caught. Right, the two of us, me and another friend of mine, I live in my building. My mom's whipped my ass ever since then. I said I can't do this no more. I'd rather just DJ. Mm-hmm. You know, if I make enough money to do a party, or something, I'll just buy my one or two pieces, and I'll just take my. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. so what I'm saying to you is sometimes. You know, I love the culture. Just I couldn't do the criminal side of the culture because you know my mother would have whipped my ass, and That's she a did. Lot of you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, but okay. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, lot of, okay. yeah, lot of low lives didn't even do crime. Like that. They uh-huh. participated in the criminal uh-huh. element. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to get my ass whooped. So, okay. Yeah, but uh, I was like. Yeah, I got I got made fun of a lot of times because okay. I was what they called the part time booster. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I went to school. I went to school hard. Uh-huh. My mom's would have whooped my ass too. But you know, when it was time mm-hmm. to get it in, and you know what I mean, and make something happen on the weekends when it ain't school. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> let's make it happen. Okay. Uh-huh. During the week. Mm-hmm. How do how do you how do you feel about now the the reprint? Or the re the reissues of Polo, so like the pieces. Um, from a quality standpoint, it can't compare to the original. Mm, tell me to why. The pieces, as far as the material. You okay. Know what I mean, like the thickness in the sweaters. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like the longevity, the life, the life in in the sweaters. You know, like a lot of stuff that we wear. A lot of our sweaters are like thirty years old, twenty five mm-hmm. years old. But a lot of the stuff that's made now, it don't have that type of texture material. For the long haul, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Um, I think it's um, it's high price, but the quality is low. Decline, but yeah. do you like do you like that Ralph Lauren does this? Like put out so uh, people who's watching, there's some pieces that were being made in the '90s that they're reprinting now. Um, you know, in the, the, the late 2000, 2000, 19, 20, 20, 20 blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Um, that 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 remakes those old nostalgic um, pieces. But what I'm saying to you is, do you have a issue with those things being done or do you feel like it's cool to do it? Nah, well, it's, well, it's still good. I mean, I don't have an issue with it. Um, do you going. feel like that that company um, did it because of low lives? Definitely. That is okay. what, it's that's definitely, what I would have okay. put into play. It's definitely um, our influence, you know? Um, mm-hmm. Before, before they reissued a lot of those items that we had in our possession, those joints was worth, oh God, mm-hmm. those joints was worth ridiculous. Before mm-hmm. we right. came here, Talk on the microphone. Before we came here, talking about this cookie sweat he got on right here, mm-hmm. See the big cookie. Mm-hmm. When the cookies came out, we was on those back in the days. Mm-hmm. We was waiting for them to make a big cookie back in 88, 89. Uh-huh. It came out now. like. We was waiting for shit like that. Uh-huh. Like that right there that he mm-hmm. got out now these days, this is what we wanted back in the days. Because we was on all that, mm-hmm. all that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So that's the difference now. This It's called he capitalized off of, because you got a lot of my friends, that's all they do is dress vintage. That's all they mm-hmm. dress. Mm-hmm. You won't catch them in. None of this like I got on. Mm-hmm. Everything had to toe, they be vintage every day. 365, you know what I mean? So, and that's how they, they say, mm. We gonna start making that blow it up bigger. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Throw this on that, make it like this, and throw the price on it. And the people that never could get it, that's why they paying the crazy money for it. Now. Okay, all right. You know uh-huh. what I mean, people selling their first baby for to get that polo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, of course they reissued that because of the low lines. Like I said, them some of them pieces we had, and people wanted them pieces. The the prices they were offering. But do so. Do you respect? Let's say, like a guy come. Like I think this is a reissue. This particular one here, not the one underneath. Don't try to play me. 
Just letting you know, this is what I had for back in the day. Yeah, yeah, just no keeping doubt. it real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Low. You know what I'm saying? Just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but do, do you risk? So then let's say, because I when I came to Lil Goose on the Deuce, mm-hmm. right? I'd be super honest. I thought I was going to see a lot of vintage stuff, and I didn't. Okay. You understand? I saw a lot of reprint stuff and stuff that I'm like, uh, I thought, I, I, you know, maybe because I know, you know what I saw when I was younger, but that's the only thing I did not see was a lot of, you know, a lot of... Like 80s vintage stuff. Vintage stuff. Yeah. I, and I, and I, I thought it was a little bit more going to be that way. It just was, you know, and I guess, you know, every generation... You know they they have their own stuff, so I can't I can't uh, uh, expect someone that didn't grow up that way mm-hmm. to know what was going on. So right. I can't expect that, but that's what I expected. Mm-hmm. But what I'm asking you is, do you do you <laughs> respect those reprints of people coming out with reprints and stuff? I mean, personally, for me, like I don't really like try to collect reprints. Okay. Like like this vest right here is the Uni vest. This mm-hmm. is like from '87, '88, mm-hmm. and like. This like these are the re- This is like one of the reasons why Ralphie wanted to do retros mm-hmm. because he's seen how um, how alive we kept it. You know how we kept pursuing it and we kept the culture alive. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, and then we put out like a number of books. Mm-hmm. Within those books, it had like style guides. We displayed like all the valuable pieces. Mm-hmm. And then so that was like in 2016. So around that particular time, Ralphie, that's when he started all the retros. Mm-hmm. So it was the low lives. Physical, you know what I mean? Um, the legacy and then all the books that came and then with the new culture still thriving on the vintage pieces, mm-hmm. he had no choice but to try to feed that market. You Do you I mean? guys have a relationship with Ralph Lauren? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean he definitely he definitely had heads in the documentary, you know what I mean? Okay. The Ralph Lauren documentary. Uh-huh. Um so he he's definitely acknowledging, you know what I mean, our legacy and what we what we built and created. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the main thing about it is um it's an international affair now. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like it started it started like in Brooklyn, New York, um, with mainly, you know, blacks and Hispanics to keep it mm-hmm. one hundred, you know what I mean? And um it just splurged out to all nationalities and ethnicities. Mm-hmm. So it became like an international affair. And I think that's one of the strongest reasons why low lives are still here today. Because like even back in our era, like it was uh, it was various gangs and crews out there. Mm-hmm. But like they wasn't they wasn't focused like on the fashion. And we understood fashion being a universal language. Mm-hmm. And through fashion, we was able to like connect with people from all different walks of life. And then, you know, this is New York City. Mm-hmm. You know, the fashion think, capital. I think, Mecca, huh? yeah, I think so. Racklow, Racklow being a little modest. Yeah, man, I, I want because, you to talk, listen. Um, I, and and I, I want to say to all modest, you guys, remember, man. you talk your talk because sometimes you don't want to get the, the history yeah, confused. Yeah. And you don't want to get written out of history. Yeah, yeah. so, so, so yeah. Racklow uh, being a little modest, man, he's saying yeah. the, they, it was a couple of books. Actually, Racklow is the author of, of a book, yeah. okay. Low Life, the American Classic, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, oh, yeah, uh, for sure. Peace mm-hmm. to the homie Thurston Howe. He got Bury Me With the Long Arm, man. So mm-hmm. we, we definitely got two books out there. And Racklow mm-hmm. got tons of music. Right, show yeah. the camera is the camera's here. This is this uh-huh. is an old school uh, one of the books right here. CD. Can we people had. still buy this book? Yeah, yeah. Uh, where could they purchase you this book? Definitely get it at rljewelry.net. Okay. Our website, you know what I mean. So uh-huh. um, yeah, um, the book is still available. And um, as far as books, you know, um, I got two more releasing this year. Mm-hmm. So we definitely, you know what I mean, definitely trying to keep I the got cycle. Books, of the books in the coming. works, and, and yeah. I just wanted to show this. This is from. 2000, man. We we did this album in, in 2000. Mm-hmm. So we was in the source in 2000, September, October, and November. Mm-hmm. And this we was the, back and this back, was yeah. the sound. We just did a soundtrack to it. Like mm-hmm. you know, this, this is how long we've been doing the the music and the you know in in Thurston Howe again. Piece of the Thurston Howe in his home studio. We like. I remember somebody posted, right, and I was like, damn. I said, I, I hope they ain't going to this. I, I don't know who it was. It's like, yo, how people claiming low and don't play polo to people with low live records or something like that. I do remember. Was that you? <laughs> Could have been. Could have okay. been. I, I bothered a I lot of people, man. I bothered <laughs> a lot of people. I was bothering you. I was bothering Spike. I, I was bothering you a know, lot of people. And, and so, yeah. you know, sometimes, you know, like, I think that communication is key with mm-hmm. all of us. You know, sometimes it's like, you know, it's, hey, what's up? Let, let's chop it up one day because everybody don't know what's going on in other people's heads. Definitely. You understand what I'm saying? So me saying that, you know, I used to see 
online about, you know, I watched the Polo documentary because it intrigued me. Mm -hmm. Then I saw it was like Low Goose on the Deuce. And, and I think every year I usually go somewhere. I usually be somewhere. So this year I knew I was going to be here. I said, I'm going. And if when you saw I went, I went by myself. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know security, you know, I was there for Dola. I know a couple of guys that were older than me that was there. So, I, you know, naturally I, you know, attached to them. But primarily I was there for Dolo, you uh -huh. know, by myself. And, you know, this is a culture that I've I've been wearing quite some time. I've I got a, quite a few pieces, you know, that I'm, I'm happy that I have and things of that nature. It's just that um, a lot of times when I, you know, for, for my audience, I wear polo, I don't think that they understand. You know, sometimes it's like, yo, you know, they come to my house, I got a closet full of low. Most mm -hmm. low lives have a low closet. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you ain't put nothing else in that closet but low. You know, Definitely. whether it's a, a towel, a, 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 a bed sheet, so you have low. Definitely. You understand? And, you know, and my. That low, and that low life gear, you know. We talk about it. Let's do yeah, it. Uh -huh. Low life gear. You uh huh. Know, so, know. so. Actually, that's for you. Talking to the microphone. Actually, uh -huh. this for okay, you. Thank you. Right here, All right. You thank you. Uh huh. That thank little you. low life cookie so, joint. So, so all, you know. So now. You got to, I want to also say I wear extra large, just in case anybody watching this. Oh, this is, uh, so now let me ask, right? So now I know it was a point in time where some people caught wind that I wear low, and they were trying to give me stuff that wasn't low. So when I say that, you know, I, I, I've had, you know, a couple times I see things, I'm like, oh, snap, and I'm running to get it. It's like a P-Wing hat or something, and I'm mm -hmm. looking, and it's not low. It's just, you, you understand, it's a, 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 a hat that... You know, somebody who's who love low. It's a customized hat, yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? So how do you feel about those those pieces? Nah, like it's a market. You know, it's like those. But those do you just... feel the way that it's not low? What do you mean? Like it's You're not a, about... it's not official? It's not official low. So when I say that, right, I, I, I you know, I don't wanna put people because I, I, some of the pieces I really like. But I'm just using a P Wing hat for an example. Mm -hmm. I know there was a P Wing hat out. It just had the P-Wing on there, but then when you when you take a look at the tag, it says, this is not Ralph Lauren oh, yeah, yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, it's like, ah. So how do you feel about those things? And I'm saying no disrespect to those people. I'm just asking, how do you feel about that? Nah, like, um, like it's, it's a market, you know? It's a market. Would for... you wear something like that? I have war people. I have war pieces because okay. I, I got people that that, um, that recreate those type of things. Okay. You know I mean, uh -huh. those pieces, and they blend really well with, the official low. What you got? Okay. Yeah, and plus, it's a market and it's a business for people, and um, and some people believe it or not, they prefer to support the customized low as okay. opposed to the real thing. That's fine. So it's a market and it's a business. So yeah, you know, it go both ways. So so, I mean? so now let's say if I came with that on low goose on the deuce, would I be disqualified? Oh, you can't get in the competition. Nah, you can't get in the competition. <laughs> yo, see, I got to talk to him more. Nah, you, he, nah, you're you, a politician you, right now. Nah, I just see that. We Keep know, it real, we know you got yeah. the custody Keep it real, huh? Nah. <laughs> you got to come a low goose on the deuce. You got to be right. You got to be official. Okay. You got to be yeah. right. You, gotta, you can't look like nobody else. Yeah, you got to be uh -huh. official. Because anybody could go get everything everybody got. Uh -huh. Like the homie that won, you know what I mean? He was just different. Yeah. That's how you going to win. Exclusive, Because nobody had that. You know what I mean? I was like, when I seen I'm like, I already knew he was going to win because that's just easy. It's easy. Uh -huh. We're all going to go for that. You know what I mean? So now let's go to Low Goose on the Deuce. So now what is Low Goose on the Deuce? Because I, so I know why it started, but what is it? Well, I mean, it's an affair where um, we just bring people from different countries together. Network. That's a part of the culture. So, so like you said, it's, a, okay. it's an event for networking. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also included, like, um, the battles. The, oh, um mm -hmm. The friendly sportsmanship, you know what I mean? The competitive sportsmanship, rather. The battles of what kind of clothes, what kind of load you have on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I because some people, this 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 audience here, may have no clue about mm -hmm. polo. I have my friends here like, yo, what's wrong with you? Why are you in the car with a whole bunch of polo on? They had no clue right. of what's going on. So that's why I want you to explain. Mm -hmm. You talk on the mic. Yeah, so yeah. now, if I could explain a little bit. So now you have people coming together. And they battling on who got the best polo on. Who's the best dress? Yeah. Who's the best dress? Uh -huh. Everything. Okay. Uh -huh. Gotta be everything. From yeah. head to like toe. Head to toe. Gotta be everything. Your wallet. From like head to toe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. But it don't have to be polo. Like polo Ralph Lauren. It could be like double RL. It could be chaps. But it has to be Ralph. Okay. Uh -huh. It could be purple label. You know what I mean? So, um, so what is the difference between all these things? 
Nah, those are just. A I different... remember chaps. What? They still got chaps. Yeah, they still make chaps. Okay. I, mean, that's, that's, I remember that's, chaps. Like uh-huh. those. Those are just a... the totem pole. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember. They're like, yo, you got chaps. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, you could have chaps. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, right. You got so chaps. Like, those, Hold up. Those are like the different brands that Ralph got out. Uh huh. You know I mean, that um pretty much represent the lifestyle. So if we used to hang on the. Deuce, you wore chaps? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I used to wear chaps, bro. Listen, it was a, it was a store called chaps. B Altman's department uh-huh. store. We used to kill chaps. You know what I mean? Take racks of chaps up out of there. Chaps had some pieces. The only the chaps I remember. I don't remember, I remember, I remember, I don't remember no a, chaps a pieces, piece. man. What? I a big piece. I nah, remember bro. it was a big piece. <laughs> chaps had pieces. All right, so hold on. Before I get into the let me get there and focus. So now, it's, it's different. is it different competition? Because I saw you had three or four trophies. Mm-hmm. So what is the difference between the trophies? Well, you have, um, you have head to toe, mm-hmm. where you have to come with Ralph head to toe. Top to bottom, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Nothing in between. If it ain't Ralph, you get disqualified. Mm-hmm. No, uh, top. Undershirt, socks, everything. Socks, Draws. belts, Draws, belt. pants, uh-huh. shirt, sweater, hat, scarf, coat. And everything got to be Ralph. Accessories too. Mm-hmm. The bag, and some accessories too. Yeah. So head to toe is one category, and then another category is just best polo goose. Okay. They're just concerned with the goose. Um, you know the style of the goose, making sure it has no stains, no e eats. You know what I mean? It Which ha- is. You know what I mean? You it's, know, sometime at the edges of your clothes. It has no holes start, in it. You know what I mean? Okay, linting up and stuff. Right. Or, or start deteriorating. Okay. Like, ripping yeah. up. That's what we used to call EE. E. E. Okay. You get it rounded up for that. Man. Okay, uh-huh. Yeah. And then that's two, and what's the, uh, that's it? It's, it's, yeah. it's more than two? It's, it's, no, it's just two. But on that particular night, um, oh. it was just three trophies on deck. And okay. Like, it was a second winner up, a second runner up, so I just pretty much blessed them. Okay. But it's pretty uh. much just those two battles. Okay, so yeah. it's the goose, goose and head to toe. Head to toe. Okay, yeah. so just in case somebody want to go next year, you got mm-hmm. head to toe, a goose. Yeah. Okay. Head to toe, I wear a polo goose. So yeah. who? I didn't see the the goose. No, the goose. The the space guy won. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's yeah. theatrics, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah but the theatrics that uh-huh. helped him. I mean, uh-huh. yeah. the goose was crazy, but the little theatrics, you know, mm-hmm. it helped him out. He had mm-hmm. the helmet, then he pulled out the flag like he was planting. Because uh-huh. like, that, that, that that goose is crazy. an astronaut goose, so he uh-huh. just he just um built around it with accessories, you know, yeah, that's mm-hmm. a to bring the astronaut type. concept to life. Okay, so uh, low goose on the deuce. What um the 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 date is the same date every year. Is it yeah. or is it around the same date? We try to have it like on Martin Luther King weekend. Okay. Every year, January. Okay, and that's mm-hmm. on the then that's Saturday. That's a Saturday. Okay, yeah. is that anything special or that, or is it just doing that that weekend just to have it on that weekend? Not because you know, like that Monday is pretty much like you know a holiday. Mm-hmm. So like people come out of state, they don't you know rushing back to you know getting to that go back home to work and all that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, just like try to space it out, space it out to get people a nice nice amount of time. Mm-hmm. Um, and we just used to, we, we, we relentlessly hung on the deuce. Mm-hmm. Fresh like that. So it was kind of like a fashion show then. Mm-hmm. All the pictures taken. and So that's just like a recreation of yeah. us being on the deuce, how much we used to do on the weekends to see the new movie out, to just go and just to be out there. And we constantly stayed on the deuce. So that's why Mm-hmm. We just did low goose on the deuce. Cause it's called Fridays and Saturdays. After you get get your bread, you get money, you get fly. Everybody gonna meet up on the deuce. We gotta take a picture by the wall. We ain't know why we was doing it. We was documenting all this history, all these old school pictures. Mm-hmm. We was just doing it cause we was, we was fly that night. We take this picture. You know what I mean? You got the Polaroid. You know what I mean? Show niggas ah ah. But all them shits came back in a good way, right? They got these shits everywhere, like, mm-hmm. yo, mm-hmm. remember that night, we was fly, we got money, we did some more crazy shit in the city, you know what I mean? Every night in the city was an adventure. It was never a regular night in the uh-huh. city. <laughs> like, it was, it was literally movies. Every time we went to the city, we it was our living room. We literally took over that shit. Mm-hmm. 46th Street, all the, all the people in history that was in the city, they knew the polo dudes that was in the city. They knew who we was up. We was out there mm-hmm. every weekend, every weekend, relentlessly. It mm. can start with five of us. Just walk around. You running three more dudes. By about like nine thirty, ten o'clock, we out there like fifty deep, mm-hmm. going crazy in the city. Mm-hmm. Just walking around. So, um, so no one never sold cookie, cookie. 
We had our custies. Like okay. we had our custies. The beauty parlors, yeah. the the barber shops, the people that put in their orders. <laughs> like, but we never set up a table like on the street. Come get okay. your logo. We had uh-huh. custies everywhere. Yeah. Uh huh. Like, this goose, that goose you got. Uh huh. But this is yeah, this is this a reprint too. I don't know if they know, got it right. Did they did, did they make it exactly the same? Saying. Yeah, I mean the cookie's good. Yeah, I, I mean I like that goose. That goose. But if they had no, because when right, I saw it, I said, "Oh my god, I gotta get it." But you you know I'm but just. If they had them right. You wouldn't have to sell them on the street. It's a network. You know. Everything. People know they want if it. My dude ain't got. Oh, one, they took it off your you back. Give me the bread. Uh uh-huh. Get that coat. You uh-huh. ain't gotta sell it to him. And you, who gonna sell it? Why you sell it to him if your man ain't got it? He gonna get some for. He gonna give you some. Yo, I got the you. You ain't got the uni, Nick. Uh-huh. Take this. Give me that. Trade you know it. What I mean? Yeah. Because uh-huh. okay. everybody gonna want. If you got ten, somebody gonna uh-huh. sell it to you. You know what I mean? You got nine friends that ain't got it. Uh huh. You know what I mean? They gonna make sure you get compensated for it, but it's gonna go down the pipeline. You know okay. What All right. All right. You, you quiet the whole time, man. Yeah, I'm just no. I'm just saying I'm, I'm here as a spectator. Okay, uh, just checking the scenery out. That's okay. it. Okay, uh, yeah, an- another humble one. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, I well you saying he was in the get... beginning? Oh yeah, we go back. Hey, to the okay. round together. I'm oh, the yeah. start, yeah. and he with he's with the shits. He, <laughs> you know I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. He was one of them dudes, man. But mm-hmm. I guess he want to be humble now. But uh, you know, I I ran with Av actually on me eyes and. AV used to Do you explain busy, what me eyes is. Oh, me eyes a mission. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> a mission. Right? Because I I do remember, right? I I I want to be super honest. Like I said, I, I'm never gonna lie to my audience. Or anything. I do remember. I was always the DJ in the neighborhood. So me being a DJ in the neighborhood, you know, sometimes I would trade mixtapes or CDs for whatever they went and stole. You understand? Like somebody come, yo, I got a, a, a you know a the slam. Um, T-shirt. Mm-hmm. I remember I always wanted the slam T-shirt and the bicycle T-shirt. I got that too. Bicycle <clears throat> turtleneck, right? So I remember I used to trade that. And they, they they would go on. You know they were playing that. You know I'm gonna go to Reading. I'm gonna go to Franklin Mill. We're gonna go to Bloomies or different things like that. So how did y'all even come up with that? Like all right, we're gonna go here today. We're gonna go there today. How did everybody come up, come across? Come along. It, it, it depends on what what they have. <laughs> okay. Come on, hey, tell them. It depends you on what they have. Right? If it was, if it was, if, it was serious, if huh? this was, if this is what we was looking for. Okay. Right? And the homie knew where these were. Mm-hmm. That's where we was going. Okay. Uh huh. If yeah. the homie knew where these were, but what we thought where he knew they were at, it was hot, meaning too much police or two you might get caught there the other homie might know where these is at where it's sweet then we go in there mm-hmm. like, it depends on what come where the food. money yeah where 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 you saw the money at mm-hmm. but like whenever we hit midtown like we definitely had certain regular spots we would go to like bloomingdale's macy's on 59th street 59th uh-huh. and lexington you uh-huh. know? i remember that's by art design macy's 34th okay. street um lord and taylor long, Be all long clothes these are like main stores we we, we used to hit on a regular basis and they would road. never say yo these guys is coming we know what y'all about nah, yeah they, they knew know. it was coming they could yeah the, the rush is that serious, okay <laughs> we 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 planned like like I know y'all see a lot of it now these dudes they running in the stores and they Steam. going crazy right now steaming uh-huh. like our things were planned. Like we knew, like we were meticulous with it. Like we'll mm-hmm. wait for the walkathon. Mm-hmm. City clogged up. No police cars coming through where and going through where. Mm-hmm. We in the city on the walkathon. Mm-hmm. Halloween parade. This parade. That parade. Anything that clogged up the city. That that was a day that we was gonna be in the city. Okay, San Gennaro. You wanna have uh-huh. that? Okay. <laughs> you wanna have the fear up eleven five, twelve uh-huh. five? Good. Uh-huh. You know, the pork sausage is good. Uh-huh. Just clog up the city. Uh-huh. We out there. Uh-huh. We, we getting it. Police and then can. like um yeah yeah and then like the steaming that became like the million man rush. Mm-hmm. You ever heard that term? Where yes. We, where we pretty much um it was like Garvey Marcus Garvey Village in Brownsville Brooklyn and then you had St John's in Utica and we just came together. We just went to Midtown and just blitzed everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and, so steaming, um, steaming is uh, where a bunch of guys go, grab what you could grab, and run and run out, and, run out yo, the store, you know and run out. Uh-huh. And listen, it, it wasn't, it wasn't always about st- um, steaming polo. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it was Sheryl and Colts, it was Pele Pele's. You know what I'm saying? Like the low lives, we was really big on like um, 
high end, high end material. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like we was running out with coats that was like eight thousand for a Sherlin. Mm-hmm. up on 72nd right across from the low mansion like we was really at that level so the low was just our uniform okay but we also had you gotta make money we had to get the money too you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying so, like he said we had a, we had a wide clientele that. that was expecting all that stuff like, and you I know think, what I mean I think the steaming right cause I, I go back to when we used to come off the train like if you're going to be Altman's mm-hmm. so we used to call y'all niggas the thirsty niggas the rag and a couple of niggas niggas to be in the front everybody walking it's like about 15, 20 of us. So we walk and we trying to be cool, but niggas want to get in, get what they want to get and get out. So mm-hmm. niggas start walking a little faster. Niggas went from walking fast to skipping to just going crazy in the store, turn the shit in like Tasmanian devil and just, just go crazy. Well, you should walk in first and then grab your stuff and the then... Doors. Just go okay, in, uh-huh. just go just in. You go in. Like if you go in Lord and Taylor's, you got to go upstairs on the escalator. Mm-hmm. The polo shit is upstairs. You mm-hmm. gotta get on the escalator, go up, up, Tim floor. up, 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 and you do this. It'd be like twenty people doing this, and the store security be following you. Be trying people jumping off the escalator, run the back way, run the, the, the down way. And whoever up. get caught, they get but caught. You know, whoever they get caught, they yeah. still yet. Yeah. It's cool. Uh-huh. They following us. You gotta get to the tip floor to get the pole. Okay, okay. You know I mean? <laughs> so some people would jump off, go hit some other shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's just called get in and get out. Because it's always somebody may get caught. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's the chance you're taking. Okay. You don't want to be that motherfucker to get caught. To get caught, I mean? uh huh. <laughs> she was crazy, but and steaming, it just got crazy. When you got more than 10 people, shit getting steamed. Even mm-hmm. niggas had to talk, yo. This we not gonna steam today. Everybody we just gonna go in and they be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as you get there, the steam. It's out of good time. <laughs> it's out of good time. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want to get your size. You want to get the color you want. You like nah. I already got the red. I don't want them to take all this blue one. Then I be stuck with another red. I want blue this time. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. everybody be. <laughs> it's it's steam. You know? yeah. All right. Um, is there anything that you want to promote? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, definitely got the book. You know what I mean? Low Life in America mm-hmm. Classic. They could definitely check that out. You know what I mean? RLJewelry.net. And then um, my man got the cigars. Of course, we got all the low life. You know what I mean? Jewelry and stuff. You know, got the belt. Got the belt buckle. Low life. Brand. Mm-hmm. And to tell them again, like I just want you to keep telling them where could they cop the stuff from. Um, the buckles and 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 stuff you could get from Low Life Brand. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, rack low RL jewelry. You know, get all his time. stuff. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh-huh. All the classic. Oh, this poncho. Yeah, yeah. With the nice P wing. Ooh. Uh huh. Suicide. Suicide. Why they call this the suicide? Tell them why they call this the suicide. <laughs> Tell them this. <laughs> Tell them why they call this the suicide. So it, was, it was almost murder to wear that. You know uh-huh. what I mean? It was almost murder. That was a target. Uh huh. That's like the public enemy target. <laughs> you had that on, and that was a good quality polo. And that's committing that suicide. That right? was a good quality polo. We had the sweatshirt. Uh huh. Got the coat. It came with the whole. It had everything. Suicide was. The, it was crazy. Suicide mm-hmm. was crazy. That's why they called it that. It was. And um. Cause people was coming out of a lot of people lost their suies. A lot of people uh-huh. in history came up out of suies. Them shit was dangerous. Yeah, people got yeah. killed over them shit. It was, Polo, it, it was it got so bad, man, that they was really really killing motherfuckers about Polo. Mm-hmm. Like it really got crazy. Like you really had to have a gun on you to walk down the block to wear some shit. Like mm-hmm. in my hood, like motherfuckers that grew, lived across the street, we knew from playing softball and all that shit. Niggas really trying to take niggas' heads off for instead of, and what we didn't understand was, you niggas could have came and got down, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And we could have made this shit even easier. You niggas wait for us to go get it. And, and then try to get y'all when you come in. Uh-huh. That wasn't working. There was uh-huh. no way playing them games. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Because it wasn't giving them no polo. Mm-hmm. Let's go ain't play that, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and those are negative times when you young and you stupid, you ain't got no sense, you know what I mean? Like, psh- like, just just be young and ignorant. I had the uh, tri-color cross flag on the shit, the red, white, and blue shit they reprinted, okay. the 87 shit. I got shot, but I had to, no, I had the 88 one, the red, yellow, and blue one. I got shot, they shot me in my arm. I was more worried about the hole in my shirt than the fucking bullet hole wow. in my arm. Wow, uh-huh. Know what I mean? 
this is young stupid shit. Uh -huh. I'm like, this. let me get this shit off right now before I fuck this shit up. Uh -huh. I got a whole bullet hole in my arm. Mm -hmm. But this was the, that, that polo shit, that shit was crazy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's why our, us in low lives, you know what I mean, original low lives, it's, just, it's more than a polo, you know what I mean? These the people, these my bros, you know what I mean? We all been in each other's cribs, we know each other's family. Dude, you know who, I mean? who are some of the original low lives that's you know i just want to make sure that everybody yeah. get they ski they black just... my brother ski black uh, -huh. uh rudy low uh i mean you got fridge you got fridge low you know av rock rich um wick whack g george g george big boo ralph low mm -hmm. frankie I mean, boo pup low clay you know black I mean? yeah Fucking uh shit. you got arch Buff. low Got Hazuno. Rest you know in peace, Boost and Billy. Rest in peace, Marco Polo. Rest in peace, mm -hmm. Marco you know I mean? Polo. Fast Capone. Steam Team. So yeah, Marco so like Polo. like it, it consisted of like, you know what I mean? Two two separate places in Brooklyn, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um we just came together, united, and just um created that bond, you know? And it just it just went it went yeah, yeah. So do you do like I see celebrities wearing polo and stuff too. How do y'all feel about those people? Do, do y'all get surprised? Nah. I, I, I'd like to hear, but you, I, mean, I think, we, we, I, I, I think I, that I, I, you I are the one that's going to keep it <laughs> yeah, 100, I don't know. Okay. Okay. I mean, and well, let me tell was... you something. I, me, and I don't think anybody would get offended. I want because uh, people would love to just, know right, how do we keep that, it super one hundred. One thing before I do that because because my business partner okay, no problem. Me, man, but um, I, I it's upside I got down. The cigar company, you know what I mean? It's called Bethune mm -hmm. Stogies. On Instagram is at Bethune Stogies. I bought that one for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know what uh -huh. I mean? That's called, that's the McCallum right there. I got cards. You know anybody that like cigars, man? Flavored cigars, full bodies. We got them. Mm -hmm. They all around. Mm -hmm. But, um, uh, now, now yeah, to be, that uh, question, yeah, right? Now yeah, to that question. Like... <laughs> nah, but really, we felt good. Like when 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 Tyson Beckford first became like the model of the whole thing, we was like, wow, that's that's nice. You know, that was nice. Mm -hmm. And the homie Thurston Howe, he runs around everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And somehow he ran into that dude. It was like, you know, they polyed and he kind of like made him uh, 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 low life, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it, yeah, it's cool, man. It's I see, nice. like Just Blaze, Kanye West, oh, just, different oh, things like just that. Just okay. Blaze, the homie, man. Okay, Just Blaze, uh, uh, piece of the homie, Dot X. You know what I'm saying? So Those let me ask homie, you a question. All right, so another thing that happened, I don't know who it was. So I was there, and uh, it was an older gentleman. I forgot who it was, and he did say this to me, and I'm glad this came up. So he seemed like he had an attitude. You know, he's like, man, fuck all this. Niggas in the middle, but uh, these niggas bought they shit. These niggas ain't boost they shit. <laughs> Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? He's super mad. I forgot who I was. I, can't, I wish I remember Why who I was. the deuce? And on the deuce. Yeah, on the deuce. Yo, these niggas, niggas, ain't, niggas ain't boost they shit. Niggas bought they shit. Anybody can fucking buy the shit. Niggas I ain't boost they shit. It was, you understand? Though. So, so how do you feel about that? Like, do you feel like I, in order to really be down, you gotta go boosting. Or That's not, nah, nah. Okay. Yeah, nah. Nope. Maybe. No, no, okay. no, no way. No way. Okay. <laughs> Listen. A hundred. Yeah. Maybe. Like, we don't. We don't. We don't advocate that. You know I mean, we don't. Mm -hmm. We not. We not supporting like the thievery. You know what okay. I mean? Like we in a whole different era, a whole different time frame. People have more access to different things. Like in our era, we do we a lot of to, non We had to shop. We had to boost. Okay. But in this era, like it's people have too much. Um, Accessibility and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So we don't really hold that on people. You gotta be you gotta be a booster in order to rock low. Mm -hmm. Because like, yo, being a low life, it's it's an attitude, it's a spirit, it's okay. a way of thinking, it's a mentality. That's why when you see people that that's not even from the eighties, they throw up the L's when they rock in polo. Mm -hmm. Because polo and low and low life is synonymous. It goes yes. hand in hand. Mm -hmm. You can see a person um, in Australia wearing polo, but he's gonna go like this mm -hmm. because it's just a part of the whole aura. Mm -hmm. it, it's the icing on the cake, you know what I mean? And that's, mm -hmm. and that's what we created. You know so what I mean? why do you feel that some, I guess, some people feel like that? Cause he, he was like really beefing. And I was like, that. I felt like he wanted to go in the middle and like, you know, yo, yeah, these niggas ain't boost them shit. I was like, damn, bro, we had it. And you got, you got dudes, you got dudes. Okay. That's yeah, a fact, yeah. you got dudes okay. that still feel just like that, you know uh -huh. what I mean? It'd be like this, but what you want to do to do? You know what I mean? Who gonna go out there and steal this shit to come out here to, to win a trophy? Like, it's crazy, you know okay. what I mean? Uh -huh. And that's just his thing, like, cause mm -hmm. I guess, 
whoever it was or whatever. You know what I mean? You just mad at the time. Okay. You know what I mean? But shit changed. It ain't like that no more. Uh-huh. We ain't still. I'm, I'm not stealing the goddamn thing. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, you know, it's like, easy to get. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. That was necessity. Okay. Well, even, even though that's not my um, point of view right now, I respect it because what that person is saying is that in, in a particular era, you had to do certain things to acquire love. Okay. You couldn't be it in wasn't the... that easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You had to go through the trenches and the struggle. So, like, a lot of people got it easy is what he's saying. A dude we that, made it easier for y'all. Like, okay. back then, you know what I mean? yeah. a dude that was hanging with us and you buy all your polo, you probably going to get booked. Know okay. what I mean? Uh-huh. We probably gonna book you because uh-huh. you're buying it. We out right. here stealing. Know what I mean? Uh-huh. You, you Boosting. Came up, you went and bought that. Uh-huh. You went and bought the whole kit. You uh-huh. got the whole kit. You, why you ain't buy anybody one? You know okay. What I'm <laughs> like like back in that era, let's just say if it's um if I went to the store and I bought my polo goals, but AV went to the store and he 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 boosted, boosted five. It. Like they're gonna respect his more because the, you know what I mean. You got it off the arm. You got it off the muscle. You know what I mean? Like uh-huh. it's more respected. You know what I mean? But not saying that. It should be that way, but that's just the way it was. But now this shit is crazy. For somebody oh, yeah. even want somebody to do that now, they're just crazy. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. only because that was the culture at the time. Mm-hmm. Imagine us 16, 17, 18, stealing all the time, mm-hmm. and then you done bought the goose. You, it's like, any, we're going to make fun of you. Like They made fun of me. Like mm-hmm. It's dudes that went boosting 8 o'clock, 12 in the afternoon, and then 3 in the afternoon. Call mm-hmm. it three a days. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do that. I was in school. Mm-hmm. So on Friday, and Saturday, and maybe even Sunday, before we go to Empire Skating Ring, oh, I could go stealing then. Okay. <laughs> but Monday to Thursday. And what would your mother say? How did how would you hide these clothes? Like, where you get these clothes from, boy? Well, again, like, again, my mom, I had a single parent, you know what I mean? Juanita Benjamin, that's Mama Bear, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? She took good care of me. Mm-hmm. A lot of my polo was bought. I, I'm not going to sit here in front, you know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm, went to private mm-hmm. school, but I was in the streets mm-hmm. early. I, I, I knew the ins and outs. I was a mover and a shaker. I could say, look, we know who connect with this and do that. So, mm-hmm. you know, I was part-time boosting. But, again, I was involved. It wasn't all about the stealing. It was other things you bring to the table. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I, I ended up going to Virginia State University. I mean, mm-hmm. met Bless a whole, him. met a mm-hmm. whole slew mm-hmm. of people down there. You mm-hmm. know that, like I said, Dot X. I went to, mm-hmm. I went to Virginia State with a sister. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Dot's effects. I went to school with them dudes, like, mm-hmm. and we just used to be down there. And then, like I said, I already knew Ed and Special Ed and. Yeah, I know. see Ed now. Ed do not. I never seen Ed without no low. All the time. Yeah, I see Ed in North Carolina man. all the time. Yeah. Yo, where you low at? You know, you always say that yeah, to me too. Like, I see so Ed a lot too. All, yeah. mm-hmm. You know, we knew all these people, so we just started saying, you know what, we could use all of these connections to make things happen. Nonprofit okay. stuff, uh, food drives, turkeys. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, we do all of that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? With yeah. different people, with different people that's also that we grew with and, you know, Flatbush mine. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, we know Skelly, Skellos, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, we got. Uh, Skelly was my old head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just, you know. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. No, we got bro. Dudes He's that. a bro now. Uh huh. Uh huh. We wasn't, uh, he wasn't a friend of mine back in the day. That's my dude now. Uh-huh. We wasn't friends back in the day. Okay. Uh-huh. Flatbush side. Yeah, know? okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I would stick to the, I stick to the script. Brownsville, Crown Heights, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? But uh-huh. we're good friends now, but mm-hmm. back in the days, he was a fly dude. Mm-hmm. But he wasn't he was a, a friend of mine, you know yeah, Skelly's mean? my old head. Nah, like, Skelly's you know, I looked up to Skelly. That you was know? fam, yeah. We, uh-huh. we always seen Skelly, you know what I mean? Why? Uh-huh. Official. But mm-hmm. Polo, Polo, he was a polo dude from back yeah. in the days. Mm-hmm. He, he, yeah, yeah. From, from the, the 80s, days. yeah. That's mm-hmm. a fact. We use all those connections, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do a lot of non-profit things, trying to still bring awareness to this low life thing like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like you said people still really don't know the mm-hmm. homie book been out for you know like I said this CD been out since 2000 mm-hmm. the homies got strings of music all all around you know mm-hmm. we got I, I want to play low some life, of your you know music up here also mm-hmm. um um so I mean I'm glad that you guys came you know and um you know once again in closing I want you to just, uh, you know, tell people where they could find you and find your products and stuff one by one. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, it's talking to this camera. All right. Um, Reese Black, that's R-E-E-S-E-B-L-K on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, 
The Cigars is at Bethune Stogies on Instagram and Facebook. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can find me there. Yeah, yeah. So we just had the, um, one of our biggest events, Low Goose on the Deuce. The next event that's coming up, which is our biggest event, is the Low Life Barbecue. The barbecue, I heard that. Uh-huh. God did say that. I was like, yeah. yo, it's Matt Cole. I said, yo, you ain't got nothing that, that I can wear, like a, a rugby or something. And, you yeah. know, and he was like, yo, the barbecue. And where's the barbecue at? And when take, is it? That takes place um in June mm-hmm. every year. Um, the last week in June, and it takes place in Canarsie Park. In, okay. Yeah, in Brooklyn. Um, The website, rljewelry.net. Hit me up on Instagram, you know what I mean, Racklo, Racklo, Twitter, Racklo, Racklo, YouTube, Racklo, Racklo. And um, yeah, like Reese said, you know, we just carrying on the legacy. And what these events do is it keeps the culture tight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It keeps the people connected. And um, we just we just really being on some business stuff right now moving forward, you know, mm-hmm. collectively. And we just understand the power and the influence we have as a mm-hmm. culture, you know what I mean? Because like you said, you see a lot of hip hoppers rocking low. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, um, even like even hip hoppers from the eighties and the nineties, they starting to rock low, you mm-hmm. know. So it's just it's just it's a proven fact that our culture is here is here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um it's 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 different age groups too. We got babies, teenagers, young adults. I mean you got people in their fifties and sixties that still are part of low life culture mm-hmm. rocking low. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and it's like I said, it's a worldwide thing now. So mm-hmm. at, at the barbecue uh, there's competition. Yeah. At the barbecue, tell, what's the competition? Just in case somebody's watching this now and they can get their stuff together to make sure they enter this competition. Yeah, yeah. At the barbecue, it's, it's, it's the best dress, head to toe. Head to know? toe. But remember, it's a different season. So you come in with the summer. So, the okay. Summer low, so head to mean? toe. You know, head to toe. Uh huh. And then is it, what, there's only one competition? Head to toe, no, men's and females. You know what I mean? Okay, head it's, to toe, men, men and, and women. Yeah, and women. And then, you know, we may throw the ch- um, kids in there as well because it's okay. a summer affair. Okay. You know what I mean? yeah. All right. Okay, head to toe, head to toe, men, head to toe, women, head to toe, kid, head to toe. You, I saw this guy on low, uh, a goose on the, the, the goose on the deuce, and he had um, he had on some Tims, and before you even started, yo, homeboy, you got Tims, mm-hmm. you disqualified. You just got him up, got him up out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And before you even be, started, you gotta be strong to go to low goose on the deuce, and you got polo boots on, cause it be cold out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh. The low light barbecue, mm-hmm. why be so much greater? Cause it's summertime and right. you got more people. Mm-hmm. So the low light barbecue just be really off the hook. You know what I mean? You just see everybody. They be coming in from everywhere. You know what I mean? And it's it's more networking. Like if you ain't somebody seen you in pictures, but they never seen you in person, they meet you at the low light barbecue. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's networking. You know what I mean? All the people coming together. You know what I mean? Spreading that love and loyalty. Mm-hmm. Cause low lives is is what we are. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But that ain't what we pushing. We pushing love and loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Because right. everybody want to be a low mm-hmm. life, but Thank you. you know it's what I mean? Little, it's uh, the love and loyalty aspect joint. of you know it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's that love and loyalty. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Some shit that was built or it was birthed out of negative mm-hmm. and it's on some positive shit now. Mm-hmm. So, yo, um, before we get up out of here, I just want to send mad love to, you know what I mean? To all original low life founders who paved the way you know what I mean? Who put it down for the culture and um it made it all possible. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of people, you know what I mean, that passed away, that's still with us, a lot of people that's incarcerated and they represent this wholeheartedly. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So we ain't really trying to forget nobody. You know what I mean? It's a whole team of people, it's a whole collection. And um, like I said, it started in Brooklyn and it just it's built built itself up into, you know what I mean, a worldwide affair. So, you know what I mean? We blessed to be here and um we're gonna we're gonna keep our story going. You know what I mean? Look for documentaries, you know what I mean? Um music. TV series, music, um, the merchandising, um, yeah, more books coming. More books. Yeah, so we just trying to grind it out, you know? Mm-hmm. All right, well thank you guys yeah, for know. coming. Yeah, we appreciate uh-huh. you. Know what I mean, you sell for coming to Logos yeah, on thanks, the Deuce. Thanks, bro. For real, I had to make it. it. I swear, honor, I'm you telling know, you, I was like, yo, there, I keep mean? seeing this. I'm watching it on YouTube. I'm like, yo, I gotta go. And I'm seeing certain people. I'm like, oh, I remember, I remember, you know, like mm-hmm. that. And I said, I gotta make it. I gotta uh-huh. make it. And then this particular year, I was in town, mm-hmm. and I was like, yo, I'm there. And I made sure I came. Like I just pulled. I didn't tell nobody I was coming until yeah. I got there. I saw Skelly there. I saw Skelly. He said, well, yeah, something right around the corner. And just came and hooked up and stuff like that. So I had a great time. Cold as shit. Oh, I had a good. Time. Yeah, uh-huh. it was it wasn't mm-hmm. cold. Also, before I go, um, explain the purpose of peeling. Mm. 
mm. because a lot of, I, I, I want to try to get different. To, so so to explain what peeling is and the purpose of peeling. Yeah, yeah. so peeling is pretty much um, when you're dealing with layers, you know what I mean? Layers, um, layers of low, whereas the sweater, the shirt, the t-shirt, the thermal, you're just pretty much taking it off one after another. You mm -hmm. know, so you're showing, putting shirt on top of shirt on top of shirt. On top of sweater, mm -hmm. goose on top of that. Because um, it, it depends on the weather. Mm -hmm. Most likely, you have layers on. It's winter, it's cold, it's brisk, and that's a part of the low lifestyle, too. Mm -hmm. Being yeah, that, low down that, from head to toe. That mm -hmm. came, with layers. He about to peel, okay? Through, I ain't mad at you. He about to peel. That came through the competition of yeah. uh, within ourselves. Like. He peeling again. Oh, he got the teddy. Okay. So you know, what I mean? like it's that, like that was the off. competition within ourselves, the peeling. Mm -hmm. So since we all had so much love, uh -huh. you're not gonna come with one jerk and one this and one this when we going to the deuce to hang out. Okay. Because everybody got a shirt. Everybody got a. Uh -huh. So guess what? Your man used to have. If he had him on the crown, your man would have on three pairs of socks, the red, white, and blue crowns. Uh -huh. He got on the red, white, and blue. See what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So he was wearing we all of that. Yeah, we did this in the club. In the club. So you, you're not coming with one shirt because all of us got mad stuff. So mm -hmm. you put on layers, and then when we get in the club, mm -hmm. oh, now we peel it like, yeah, mm -hmm. that's 250. Mm -hmm. This is, <laughs> oh, what about these? And keep peeling. Three pair of those. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I got this hat, but well, you ain't know in the bag I had the other hat, the mask. Uh -huh. so, like, it was just a competition within ourselves, and now that just, again, that became a part of the culture. Part of the culture, like, okay. All the symbols, like who did that? Mm -hmm. Who had money for that? So if you had the, the, the universal goose, you had the hat, you had the, and then you had the socks too, like mm -hmm. you had it all, that's how we did it, so. Uh -huh. These days, oh, right? Yeah. You be having dudes, right? These days, right? They be like, "Yo, this, yo, I got look, 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 look. I'm, I'm low down, I'm low down." I be like, "Sock check." <laughs> you, got, you got Nike socks, uh -huh. Reebok socks. So I be like, "Yo, get out of here! You come and tell me you can't press me, but you low down." Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I see you, I see you. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's when you hit sock check. You be like, "Y'all got." I mean, you know what I mean? This one is low down. You gotta, you gotta be right when you come. You gotta be you right, down, okay? You know? <laughs> All right, man. Thank y'all for coming, man. For that one. I appreciate it. Peace and love, man. Peace, All right, man. love and loyalty. Yes. Yes.